Imagine a city shrouded in the mists of time, born from an ancient seafaring civilization. Known for its prowess in trade and navigation, this is the story of Carthage, a city that rose from a humble Phoenician colony to become a mighty empire in its own right, in the bustling markets of the ancient Mediterranean. One name was whispered with respect and awe, the Phoenicians. Master traders and sailors from the coast of modern-day Lebanon, their reach extended far across the sea, bringing with them the rich colors of Tyrian purple and the shimmering gold of distant lands. But among their numerous colonies, one stood out, Carthage. Founded in the 9th century BC on the shores of North Africa, it was not just another outpost but a beacon of ambition and prosperity. Here, the Phoenicians didn't just create a colony. They sowed the seeds of what would become the first great Phoenician empire. As we peel back the layers of legend and archaeological discoveries, stay with us on this journey to uncover how Carthage ascended to glory the challenges it faced, and the indelible mark it left on history. Now, let's explore the rise, reign, and eventual fall of Carthage, the first Phoenician empire that dared to dream big. From the bustling ports of Tyre and Sidon, the Phoenicians cast their gaze across the Mediterranean. Their ships, robust and sleek, danced with the waves, pioneering routes that would become the lifeblood of ancient trade. With each voyage, these intrepid traders planted the seeds of new colonies on distant shores, but none were as pivotal as Carthage. Each settlement was a strategic foothold, nestled on the coast of what is now Tunisia. Carthage was more than just a colony. It was a statement of ambition and intent, a gateway between the wealth of Africa and the burgeoning markets of Europe and the Near East. Under the leadership of legendary figures, possibly descendants of the royal Tyrian line, Carthage flourished. Its harbors teemed with ships from across the known world. Its markets overflowed with diverse products from African ivory to Spanish silver. The city's influence expanded through savvy diplomacy and sometimes through the might of its growing military. As its influence grew, so did its ambitions. Carthage was no longer just a Phoenician colony. It was becoming an empire in its own right. Its dominance asserted Carthage's golden age was heralded by grand constructions, monumental projects that symbolized its wealth and power. But with great power came rivals. The city's ascendancy alarmed other power, setting the stage for epic conflicts that would determine its fate and that of the Mediterranean world. The tides of power in the Mediterranean were shifting, and at the heart of this transformation was Carthage, its naval prowess unrivaled became the linchpin of its military strategy. During the height of its power, Carthage faced its greatest challenge yet. The rising power of Rome, the two cities destined to clash would engage in a series of conflicts known as the Punic Wars. It was Hannibal Barca, a name that would echo through history, who led Carthage in its most audacious campaign against Rome, crossing the Alps with war elephants. His army descended into the Italian peninsula, bringing the war to Rome's doorstep. The Battle of Cannae, where Hannibal's tactics decimated the Roman legions, remains one of the most masterful military maneuvers ever conceived. It showcased Carthaginian military genius at its finest. Yet, despite these victories, Carthage's fortunes began to wane. The resilience of Rome and its inexhaustible resources slowly turned the tide against the Phoenician Empire. The climax of Carthaginian power ultimately set the stage for its decline. The seeds of empire sown with ambition now faced the harsh winters of war and rivalry. As the dust settled from the fields of Cannae, the reality of a prolonged conflict began to take its toll on Carthage. Despite early victories, the resilience of Rome posed an ever-growing threat. The wars drained Carthage not only militarily, but also economically. As resources dwindled, the once thriving markets saw fewer traders, and the harbors less filled with ships. Internally, political strife began to surface. The burden of continuous war stirred discontent among the populace, leading to internal divisions and weakening leadership. Rome, learning from past defeats, adapted its strategies. Under leaders like Scipio Africanus, Rome began to strike directly at Carthage's allies and territories, slowly encircling the city itself. 
The final blow came during the Third Punic War. When Rome laid siege to Carthage, the once mighty city surrounded and cut off from aid faced inevitable destruction. After months of resistance, Carthage fell. The city was destroyed, its walls torn down, and its fields famously sown with salt to ensure nothing would grow there again. In the wake of its destruction, Carthage left behind a legacy that transcends its physical ruins. Its contributions to trade, warfare and culture continue to be studied and admired. The ingenious strategies of Carthaginian generals, particularly Hannibal, are still taught in military academies around the world. Their tactics reshaped how warfare was conducted in the ancient world. Carthage's role in the development of naval technology and maritime trade paved the way for future empires to explore and connect distant lands. Despite the harsh measures taken by Rome to erase its memory, the story of Carthage resonates as a tale of resilience and ambition. As we reflect on the rise and fall of Carthage, we are reminded of the cyclic nature of history. Empires rise, they fall, but their legacies endure, shaping the future in ways that their founders could never have imagined. What lessons can we draw from the story of Carthage? How does its history influence our understanding of power, resilience and cultural exchange? If you're fascinated by the stories of ancient civilizations, explore more of our videos and share your thoughts on Carthage in the comments below. What empire should we explore next? And if you have not done so yet, please comment, likes and subscribe so we can bring you more videos like this. This is History Replay This Day.